Hi guys, I hope you're well and uh, welcome to this Solo 40k Battle Report. So it's going to be my Necrons against Joe's Orcs, but Joe's not here because we're not allowed to be, but they're still his Orcs, but I painted them. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of fun, basically. Uh, it's about it's 500 points per side and um, I just thought it'd be pretty cool just to try some new filming techniques just to get back into playing 40k. I haven't played 40k for ages. Uh, so just to forward, there is a mistake I make with uh, invulnerable saves, but do forgive me, it sort of balances out in the end. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe for more. There are actual 40k battle reports coming with actual players in them uh, very soon. So wherever you are in the world, stay safe, stay well, and enjoy the battle. Let's uh, have a look at the armies. Okay, so here we are with the orcs. So we've got a war boss. Um, it's all WYSIWYG basically and I'm very kindly using uh, Joe has allowed me to, to test the, the orcs out and see what they look like in a battle report. So he's a war boss, um, he's a big killer boss, he's got the killer claw, a combi rocket, um, yeah it's just a big mean orc basically. <laughs> he's bringing 12 boys, uh, not with a claw, a, shoot, um, a slugger sorry. Um, there's a rocket launcher in there and they've all got choppers and sluggers because uh, I, I'm just basically going to try and charge forward and get in combat as soon as possible. Uh, I've got a death dread at the back with three claws and a scorcher. Seems like he's a pretty fun model, see what he can do. And then burner boys at the side, we've got uh, ten burners. There's two of them are mechs with custom mega blasters um, and then they're going to be in a truck which is exactly, uh, as you see, is uh, what you see is what you get on there. So. Uh, a word first of all, I'm not an orc player. Um, I am going to play, obviously, uh, both sides of the game and uh, just to have a bit of fun and I, I desperately need to play 40k again. And, uh, yeah, so I will uh, play it as well as I can and try and do the orc players justice there and uh, watch me beat my own army with an orc army. <laughs> Let's have a look at what the Necrons have got. Okay, so for the Necrons, we've got an Overlord who's got the uh, the glaive and the tachyon arrow, and he's got the sempiternal weave, and it's making him a bit tougher. I'm a bit worried about giant choppers and <laughs> claws and so on and so forth. He's got a doomstalker, backing him up, because why would you never take a doomstalker? They're just incredible. And then two units of ten Necron warriors with ghost flayers. Um, I didn't want to just take blobs of 20 reaper warriors and just turn orcs into paste, because I didn't think that would be quite <laughs> sort of fun. Uh, we're trying to play it as if it's there. A bit of a competitive sort of game, even though there's only me sort of taking part. So, yeah, there's a Necron. You don't get as much uh, much stuff, do you? <laughs> but there you go. So, um, yeah, let's uh, roll for mission and then uh, get us up and get going. Today I'll be randomly selecting a mission from the Grand Tournament 2020 Games Pack uh, from Incursion, just the points level. So it's a D33. So let's roll it and see what happens. So it's 20. So t 1. 13. Raid. Raid is an incursion mission from the Grand Tournament 2020 pack with the mission rules recover supply cash. So after a prolonged blooded campaign that results in a stalemate, both sides are rolling low on supplies. In order to break the deadlock you must launch a daring assault into enemy territory to raid the enemy's supply lines. So recover supply cash. In this mission a player receives one additional command point at the start of their command phase if they control one or both of the objective markers in their opponent's deployment zone. This is in addition to the Battleforge CP bonus. Primary objectives for this mission are domination, which is progressive. You are charged with total domination of the battlefield. At the end of each player's command phase, the player whose turn it is scores 5 victory points for each of the following conditions they satisfy for a maximum of 15 points. They control 2 or more objective markers, they control three or more objective markers. They control more objective markers than their op opponent. There is an optional secondary objective, which can be selected, which is raid supply lines, which is progressive. At the end of your command phase, you score three victory points if you control one of the objective markers that is in your opponent's deployment zone, or five victory points if you control both of the objective markers that are in your opponent's deployment zone. This secondary objective cannot be scored in the first battle round. And there's our battlefield all set up for raid. So I'm trying to uh, keep it as, as fair as possible, basically spreading out the terrain, so on and so forth. It's a smaller scale battle, so hopefully it won't be uh, a massive swing. So all that remains is to see who's the attacking, who's the defender. So for the, for the orcs, 
You get a three. Necrons get a six. So I think the Necrons are going to take the attacker. Um, it just allows them to pick the table side. Um, but what I'm going to do is see. It, mm, so I think Necrons are going to pick. Ooh, what side are we going to pick? I think we're going to pick this side. Uh, reason being, I'm wanting to funnel the orcs coming through, so to speak, and hopefully get some get some shots off with them. We will see. Eh? And uh, let's get set up and uh, see for our first turn. And there we are, set up for raid. So the orcs have sort of hunkered down behind a bit of cover and uh, sat on an objective. The dread's going to go up the middle. I appreciate there's a doomstalk on the other side, but I think that uh, if you don't deal with that dread, he's going to rinse through the necrons in theory i think so it's kind of like a bit of a distraction play and then over the top there we've got the uh, the burners in the truck ready to go posing them necrons you've got standard sort of setup for necrons really De doomstalkers at the back support him lord next to a unit which you can drop the uh, my will be done on and then another unit out of the side there that's gonna slowly sort of grind forward probably and try and get some more objectives uh, secondary objectives we have the orcs have taken raid supply lines which is the mission specific one Domination and cut off the head. Why not? <laughs> Necrons have took raid supply lines. Purge the vermin, which is a Necron specific one for table quarters, which is pretty cool. And cut off the head as well. So we're going to have some uh, HQ and HQ action down here. We have two command points for the orcs, three for the Necrons. Orcs are Goths and the Necrons are Zarkan. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm, I'm sure it's correct. Basically, it's the uh, Master Ass of Isis, and the uh, the Goths get more attacks in combat if they roll sixes to it, which is great. So all that remains is first turn. Orcs. Is a five. Necrons. Is a three. So the Orcs. I think they're going to take that first turn. <laughs> so let's. Uh, I'll come back at the end of turn one. Movement. Okay, so the Orcs go up to three command points. No surprise, we've just gone full bore <laughs> across the table. Um, boys moved up and advanced and actually got within this uh, objective, which is fantastic. The Death Dread went up straight up the middle and advanced got five, which is great. So it's not like pushing forward, so to speak. Truck at the side moved forward. Um, we have got a bit of shooting. Um, there's not a great deal in this army, basically. So the Death Dread's actually out of range of everything. Um, the boys here, we've got a rocket launcher, which we're going to start having a, <clears throat> a pop at the... Uh, of the Necrons, so let's have a pop, we're in on a five, <laughs> that's a miss, over there we've got a big shooter, which we're going to volley into these Necron Warriors, so one hit, and we're looking for threes to wound I believe, that's one wound, save a four up for the Warriors, one Warrior dies, so we'll remove him, however he does get to try and reanimate on a five up, no, so that's uh, one Warrior dead, not an amazing shooting phase, but uh, it's more of a combat army really. And yeah, so no assaults because I don't believe we're in range. We're just going to double check quickly. No, so the orcs are just out. It's obviously you could call a wire, you see, and even though they advance, they can they can assault, which I really want to get into assault range with them. But they are sort of hunkered down in a bit of cover there, really, aren't they? So I'm a bit concerned about the first Necron shooting phase, sort of vaporising most of the orcs uh, over there. So we've got one, potentially one, two, three, four objectives potentially for the start of the next turn, which should be quite good and uh, push forward to uh, get stuck in. So let's uh, have a Necron turn one, come back to you after the movement phase. And here we go, after Necron movement. So a bit more cautious, the uh, Doomstalker didn't move. Um, obvious reasons for that, it's gonna try and annihilate that Death Dread. Um, Warrior Blob, just move forward, not advancing, because I wanna make use of the, the Necron strength is really in shooting, I think. Um, Overlord followed them on, put my will be done on this unit. And at the other side, we have the other unit move up. So, let's see what we can shoot. I think the Death Dread is definitely a priority target. Um, so, let's see if we can uh, Doomstalk him. So, he's going to put a high power shot into the Death Dread, and then he's going to shoot his Gorse Flayers into, uh, into the Orcs down here. So, it's D6 shots because he didn't move for four. And he's a can Canoptic Construct, so he hits on fours. Oh, dear. So, two hits, two. So yeah, it's, it's averages, isn't it? Averages. Strength 10 weapon against a toughness 7 dread. We're looking at threes. So, two wounds. At a mighty minus five to the save, each doing d6 damage. So, this is it. This is it. Come on. Ooh, eight. I'm happy with that. And that is actually enough to <laughs> to destroy that of Dreadnought in one hit. Um, yeah, so it's done eight wounds to him. He's only got eight wounds. Does he explode on a six? No. And the Dreadnought is unfortunately annihilated. 
you have his ghost play shot into the Orcs, uh, which hits on a 6. Strength 4 doesn't wound. The Necron Warriors are now going to open up with their Gorse Flayers into the Orcs here. So some of the Orcs are obviously behind barricades and some are in cover, so on and so forth. So let's roll it up and see what we get. They've got my will be done on them, so hopefully this should, uh, should be good. Uh, Necron first 10 shooting is always horrific. Uh, truly is pairs of vermin. 20 shots hitting on twos. Oof. And that's 18 hits. And wounding on fours. Okay, so let's have a look. So I've got Master Artificers, so I could have rerolled that. I could have actually done that with the Doomstalker as well. So let's have a look. Take those out. Take those out. Okay, it's a bit, yeah, a bit below. Two, four, six, eight. Now the issue here is obviously it's minus one. Um, and they only have a 6 plus save. Um, so what I'm going to do, there's four boys there in cover. I'm going to, uh, nope, truck and dice on the floor. I'm going to uh, take, oh wow, that's not too bad. <laughs> so we've got two saves so far, uh, two boys die. So I've then got four more to take on two boys that are left there. So I'll do them at the same time. So they both die, and then two orcs die. So it's, it's instead of eight, it's six. Not, not as horrific. Over this side we'll have the non My Wilburton Warriors open up on the truck. I don't think they're going to do a great deal, but you know, it's always worth shot, isn't it? 18 shots in our threes. Yeah, My Wilburton makes such a massive difference, doesn't it? Not so much of a massive difference. And we're going to be wounding on fives. Rerolling one because of Master Artificer, so I'll reroll that one. So, to be fair, one, two, three. Four, five wounds on the truck. Now truck normally has a four plus save, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, four plus to a five plus. And <laughs> save three of them. Orc saving's doing all right, to be fair. Two wounds on the truck. And that's the end of Necron 10, two, uh, 10 one. Sorry, I'm not going to assault anything. Um, I'm going to wait for them to come and then volley them. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the plan. So, but but around one's done. There's not, not, nothing scored uh, so far. Um, everything's you know beginning to turn so on and so forth so our cap score in the first battle round but now we're moving on to battle round two and orc turn two okay so end of orc turn two movement now just a quick word there i actually spent two command points there to prevent a, a morale check on them um i didn't want them to run away essentially um because this is uh, this is the orcs time hopefully in combat anyway so uh come on point the orcs actually had um scored 15 primary there because they had four objectives which is uh yeah taking the lead quite rapidly from the necron is quite quite shocking how you know if you flood the board how quickly you can get on with things um burner boys jumped out over there very uh, tosome robot uh orcs move forward and advance now they're advanced but they're still going to assault hopefully because they, he can wire and then obviously he's going to Try and knock that Necron Lord over there. Might is right and all that lot. Shooting wise, we don't really have a great deal, but we are going to start over here and see if we can tow some robots. Okay, so Ben is Assault D3. Ooh, big three. So that's 24 auto hits on the Warriors. Strength four, so we're on fours. That's what we like, isn't it? So obviously you don't get daka 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 and stuff, but I think anything that you can knock out the need to roll is really beneficial. There we go. So what's that? Three, six, nine. Thirteen wounds on the warriors. Four up save. So, mm. so we've got four in cover. And okay. Let's take the four in cover first of all. Uh, so one dead so far. Three more in cover. All save. <laughs> Oof. Three dead. Four dead, and then one on a five up. No, there we go. Sorry, on a four up. So, so that's five dead warriors off that volley. But we've got the mechs so to shoot as well. Two custom mega blasters hit on fives, both missed. But they are orcs at the end of the day. Five reanimation. So it's reanimation. So five reanimation rolls here. See if we get back up on fives. One. Ooh, that was a big hit for the uh, the orcs there, killing four of them. Big shooter in some from the truck. <laughs> that that is my rolling right there. I do apologise. Moving on to combat, we're going to uh, 
declare an assault there. Uh, but the Necrons are going to spend one command point and sort of, um, oh, what's it called now? Snap fire at them, counter fire, whatever it's called. Yeah, one command point there to do that. Okay, so 20 shots hitting on sixes. My will be done has no effect here. So let's see what we can do. So we're looking for some sixes. To be fair, even a few hits is going to help because it should massively reduce the number of shots. And throwing a wound, it's one. So it's actually just going to kill an orc outright that because it's a minus one to the save. And the assault move, they're well and truly in. So going in here, get that, get that knob in there. He is, look, get him stuck in. Over this side, we're going to have the war boss attempt to charge the overlord. And he's in. There we go. Now, some of you might be thinking, why didn't you use the Doomstalker to shoot at those? Because it's got the thing, he's just out of range. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to uh, remember measurements, but let's get, uh, let's get chopping, shall we? Okay, assault phase, so I'm going to have to start with the war box because I don't want the uh, overlord to interrupt because he has got enough command points to do that. So he's the big boss, or the biggest boss, basically gets five attacks. <laughs> Hit on twos. Oh no, two misses, my rolls are coming through again. And I'm going to command point reroll one of those to get four hits. And he's actually with the killer claw, strength 12, so although I've got some paternal weave here, um, he's still wounded on twos. One on, the door, one on the floor, so all wound. Overlord normally has a three plus save, so it's minus three to a six. So he saves one, and then he has a phase shifter, which is a four plus invulnerable save. Ooh. These are flat three damage each as well, so. That has killed the Overlord in one hit, so I was just thinking then, so even re-rolling one of those with a command point, it's still six wounds, which is enough to kill the Overlord outright. However, I am going to uh, bank one command point and use Resurrection Protocols at the end of the phase to bring him back to life, but I do believe that that is actually a cut off the head for the Orcs. Now that's interesting, so if he, the war boss, the Warlord comes back to life, does that interfere with a um, cut off the head? I'm not going to play it that it doesn't, because the Orcs have just, just killed him. Um, but let's see what happens with the Orc boys fighting the warriors and then come back to this at the end of the phase. So over here we've got uh, four Orc boys <laughs> with 12 attacks into the uh, into the warriors. Hit on threes. There we go. And so seven hits. One on fours. Ooh. So three wounds and the Orcs, um, sorry, the neck on saving. They say one, I believe. Let me just double check. There's no P, a P on it, but I believe that's one. For two warriors dying. So that's two so far. So the knob also has three attacks with a claw. And that's two hits. Coming in a big strength, ten on twos. I'm fairly certain that just kills two warriors outright. Four warriors have died. Let's see if they get back up. So two come back to life and rejoin the unit. And the Necrons get to actually uh, do some hitting back. So Necrons piling in a little bit. It's one attack each basically. So if we, we're piling that way. Pile that way. That way. So they're all going to get to fight. And it's uh, one attack each. Hitting on twos because they have got my will be done on them. So. There's one miss. And there's strength four. Four's to wound. Oh that was awful. Three wounds. <laughs> And the Orcs get their mighty t-shirt save of a six. Ooh, three die. End of the phase, we're going to spend the command point on a four plus, so the Necron Lord gets back. And as always with my games, it's a two, he is dead. Morale phase, so... Mm -hmm. Do I spend the last two command points with the Orcs to actually just make those stay? Yes, I'm going to. And the Necrons, they only lost two, they can't actually fail. So they're just going to keep fighting there. As they go on. So that is the end of Net Orc turn two. And a very uh, powerful turn the Orcs have had there indeed. So if you look at it now, they've actually scored another 10 victory points for cut off the head. And they also scored three victory points for domination. So the Orcs are on 28. The Necrons nil. Wow. Uh, Necron turn two. Let's see what they can do. Okay, Necron movement phase. The Doomstalk has stayed still. Um, he's going to. Uh, Show this boy what it's like to get blighted in the face. 
and those Necron Warriors up there just move forward slightly. So no, no noble abilities or anything like that, which is a, a bit concerning. But let's do some shooting. So we're going to rapid fire the Warriors over there into the Burner Boys. And then this guy is going to fire everything full power into this Alt War boss. Doomstock first with D6, uh, D6 shots for four. Now he's hitting on fours. Uh, two hits. I'm going to use a command point to reroll a hit, which still misses. And at strength 10 to the uh, the big killer boss's toughness of five, it's two to wound. Rerolling one because I'm a Zarkan unit. So two wounds. Taking the Orc War boss straight to his four plus invulnerable saves for being the biggest boss. And he's made one. Okay, so this damage roll is D6 and he has six wounds and he's just taken four of them <laughs> so he's down to two wounds left not a bad shot so we've now got the uh, the gorse weaponry as well which is in rapid fire range and is rapid fire two so four shots all hit this is what we wanted boys here we go here we go he's toughness five so i'm moving on fives oh there you go there's two and it's minus one so the old war boss has a Five up save? No. Oh dear. And that has just killed him. A return cut off the head there for the uh, the Necrons, which is what they needed. So it's because they only got five points on primary at the beginning of the turn. Uh, but that's another solid ten back there. Over there, we've got ten shots with rapid firing Ghost, re, uh, ghost Flayers. In on threes. And we're wounding on fours. Rerolling one because I am Zarkan. Ooh, there you go, it hit anyway. So, five wounds there on the orcs, which is enough to kill five of them. So, I'm going to take that entire half of the unit off like that. That's a big hit, that. Orcs really don't like getting shot, do they? And uh, Necron seem to be good at eradicating them, but there you go. I've taken it away like that as well because if I took them there, that would actually give Necrons Purge the Vermin. Uh, for this year, this this board, which we're trying to play competitively, aren't we? Over here, we have some combat, and it's the orcs to go first. So we've got three attacks from the uh, the knob to it, uh, which kills two warriors, and then the orc boy has three attacks, which two of them hit, and one of them wounds, and the necron warrior fills his save. So hitting back for the necrons, five attacks. Yeah, uh, three hits. Ooh, two wounds though. That's what it's all about. So we've got the orc boy. He's dead. And the knob takes a wound. There we go. So we've got knob down to a wound. Let's have some morale phase. Over here, the burners lost five. So they can actually pass this on a one. Which they don't. So one bloke instantly runs away. And then we take combat attrition test for the remaining four. Running away on ones. No, so the rest stay there. This orc knob over here, he's lost one boy. Uh, so he could fill this if he gets a six. Which he doesn't, he's fine. He's staying and he's fighting to the bitter end. So three reanimation attempts for the Necrons. Two of them come back to life. There we go. And now... Let's tally up some points to see where the Necrons and Orcs stand at the end of bar round two. So the Necrons got five for primary at the beginning of the turn and then ten for cut off the head. They didn't get Pairs of Vermin, unfortunately. If they got rid of him, they'd have got an extra two for this area here. So at the end of bar round two, it's 28 to the Orcs to 15 to the Necrons. Let's see what happens in bar round three. Okay, into bar round three. So no movement from the Orcs. Um, I'm gonna. My plan here is that they're gonna burn them. Obviously, this bloke's fighting. <laughs> uh, they did score 15 on primaries again, taking them to 43. Uh, to the Necrons, 15. So the Orcs are on a real sort of um, running away with it here, aren't they? Um, let's see what we can do with a bit of shooting. So we're gonna have burners. We're gonna open up into there. So it's D3 shots. So it's one per guy this time. So a bit different. So three hits. Wound on fours. Save from the Necron Warriors, they saved it. And a custom Mega Blaster is a miss. Big shooter from the truck is going into him. 
So we've got two misses, but one daka daka daka, which gives me another shot. Let's see if we wound, which we do. And, ooh, a Necro Warrior's down. However, that's the end of the shooting. So, five up, he gets up. No, it's one more Warrior dies over there. Not too bad, it's not brilliant, is it? I'm not going to assault over here. And the reason being, I've got a command point. And I think if the Necrons are desperately trying to shift me off this, they're going to have to deal with that truck, and then I can flame them. <laughs> However, over here, we've got the knob. However, the Necrons are going to attack first, so they're piling. And we've got, what, three, six, seven warriors. There we go. Hit on threes this time. As with always, I always get a dice off the board, don't I? And there we go. Oh, wow. There we go. It's all hit. Ooh. Ooh. Three wounds. Come on, not. <laughs> Trip six. And he's dead. <laughs> Morale phase, so the Necron Warriors here can't fail because they only lost one of the leadership 10 and over here obviously we uh, we don't have any more issues. So they ought to score another three points for domination. A um, bit of a quick turn, but the uh, Necron's definitely got it all to do in the next turn. And here we are after Necron movement for turn three. So another five VPs for primary. Uh, the Doomstalker, it's got actually quite a massive movement, I didn't realise. So it's moved 10 here and then it advanced. As comes to this objective, Necrons down the middle, they moved and advanced. They're pushing into the Orcs territory, um, hoping that we can get a late game surge in VPs. And over here, we move forward. The idea here is I want to rapid fire off these burner boys and therefore be within the objective. Um, hopefully, we can swing it if the Orcs only have a truck left. So let's, uh, let's get on with some shooting. Four Gorse Flayers. Oh no! <laughs> so bad at rolling dice. Force kill. Come on, one, at least one. There's one. Mm. I'm going to command point that. Kills two. That was a, was a six. <laughs> so morale face for the orcs. Let's um, see if they run off. They don't. They're insanely brave, <laughs> as always. Thought there is obviously I've got a unit of warriors there. They're troops, so they've got objective secured. Um, so we, we don't really need to push into that. Um, I wanted to kill one more Orc to get three tables quarters worth of Purge the Vermin. So if we look at the VPs as they stand now. So the Necrons score one table quarter with no enemy units wholly within. Two and three because there's no unit wholly within this quarter. So that takes them up to another six points for Purge the Vermin. Taking the score to 26 to the Necrons to 46 to the Orcs. So far on four. Let's see what happens. Bit of a rapid movement phase. We've gone up to two, VP, uh, two command points for the Orcs. Uh, truck moved around here, um, to hopefully to sort of fend off this and spread out into quarters, because I think that the actual page of Vermin could be really powerful for Necrons. Um, over there, I've just moved into that quarter, wholly. <laughs> uh, near the object, you're trying to do it. However, um, obviously the troops there are, uh, are, are holding that objective so the orcs only scored five victory points for uh, primary that turn so the tide is turning perhaps but is it too late uh, let's do some shooting we've got a, a truck here it's going to open up into these all uh, the warriors for a mighty no hits <laughs> burner over there's d3 so for three moving on fours for two necron saving so one dies we'll take this bloke away and then the custom mega blaster he actually creates and kills him. <laughs> he does a mortal wound and kills him. <laughs> Never mind, eh? Um, does the Necromorrier come back to life? He doesn't. So morale, again, this is quite interesting because he lost a bloke, but he killed himself. So look, I'm going to roll the dice. He's not running anyway. Um, Necrons can't fail because we're leadership 10. Because we are robots and uh, the best. <laughs> so quick turn for the orcs it's really getting to sort of the end game now isn't it over to necrons turn four okay so necrons turn four movement is done they just shuffled um these boys advanced <laughs> a bit further up they were terrible they used the command point we gained this turn to re-roll re it because i got a one and rolled a one again <laughs> so yeah if you ever meet me at a tournament i roll lots of ones so and victory points wise, Necrons have one, two, three, four. So they actually scored fifteen points. It's uh, it's it's coming, it's coming back, isn't it? It's coming back. 
So shooting these boys around so they can't shoot. We're trying to eradicate that, that vermin over there. Um, we've got six shots. Hitting on threes, that's better, look, that's better. Fours, and I'll reroll that just to rub solid to wound. That's four wounds and no save, so he is exterminated. There we go. Now let's see what the Doomstalker can do. Because the, the Doomstalker moved, so he's uh, it goes down power, but he still gets D6 shots. Now for four, he's been consistent, this Doomstalker, hasn't he? Very consistent. Hit on fours, oh, that's dreadful. Two hits, uh, strength eight. That'll be one wound. Mm. I'm going to command point reroll that for two wounds. So it's D3 damage per hit for a total of six. Wow. Okay, so just uh, just redoing that because I've just uh, been noticed that they have the rule called ramshackle. So it's two. D Basically, anything that's more than one damage, uh, roll a D6. If I get a six, which I don't, it would have reduced it to one. So in this instance, it's now two D3 damage which is four, taking the truck down to four hits remaining. So a good uh, good turn for the Necrons. Um, if we total up VPs at the end of this turn as well, we now have one, two, three quarters with no enemy units in, so that's another six points for Pays of Ermi. Taking the total to 51 to the Orcs, 47 to the Necrons, moving into turn five. So. Is it? Is this the turn of the tide? <laughs> is, it, is it late game pullback for the Necrons? Let's see what this lone truck can do, if anything, and then uh, get wrapped up. Okay, so Orc 10 5, they've gained a command point over there. Uh, they actually score 5 on primary, so they have this one. And this here, there's actually more than 3 inches there away from the centre of that objective, so the Necron is just like they are on there, and I just want to be fair on that point. So they score 5. Movement-wise, this boy's just going to idea. you. <laughs> so the Doomstalker can't blow his face off. And then the idea being he's going to have a pap into the, uh, the 3 Necrons over there. 3 shots. Oh, would you look at that! It's a big three hits with the heavy shooter. Strength of five, so we're on threes. Come on, point reroll that, might as well. There you go, three. Uh, four upstairs for the Necrons. One dies. No, what am I doing, Tom? <laughs> Take that one away. End of the shooting. See if he reanimates. He does. I'll just put him there. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Not a massive turn for the Orcs, obviously. Uh, there's not much you can do when you've got a truck left. Necrons turn five. Okay, Necrons turn 5 and they take the lead, so they've got 15 on primary victory points, uh, movement warriors just push forward here, and uh, the Doomstalk stays still, they can't actually see anything now, um, so that the Orcs have bravely hidden behind a building, um, so all we've really got here is the uh, three warriors are going to shoot the truck, see if they can blow it up, and then we score points for eradicate the vermin, but it does look like the Necrons have pulled out of the bag in the last moment, so let's have some, some shots, Ooh, there we go. I'm still looking at fives to wound. I can reroll one because I'm Zarkan. There's two. It's not going to be enough to destroy the orc truck. Uh, but it does take two wounds off it. So the orcs have a truck left with two wounds at the remainder of the game. Uh, if we look at the command, uh, the victory points. So for secondaries, Necron score one, two, three table quarters, wholly without an enemy unit within, for another six. And there we go, so at the end of the game, taking everything into account and 10 points for painting and so on and so forth, we have 66 to the Orcs to 79 to the Necrons. So, yeah, the Necrons sort of came back, didn't they, at the end of the game, sort of pulled it back. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, guys. I appreciate it was a couple of errors. It's been a long time since we played 40k. This lockdown's really impacted gaming, hasn't it? Um, but, yeah, more 40k to come. Um, we'll be playing a three-part campaign. Um, outside <laughs> so it does depend on the British weather um, but we'll be playing that outside we're allowed to meet another player me and one of the guys from the club will be my Necrons against his Space Marines so we'll get back to normal normal service shortly so I hope you enjoyed it guys wherever you are in the world stay safe stay well and as always happy hobbying